Welcome to PSLE Maths, where you find solutions to PSLE Math problems. Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for notification. Thank you. Let's now look at a question from Henry Park Primary School, 2019 prelims paper. This is a five mark question. Question number 13. Tina had some 20 cents, 50 cents and $1 coins with a total value of $300.60. 40% of the coins were 20 cent coins and one eighth of the remaining coins were $1 coins. So uh, before coming to the question, let's see 40% of the coins. 40% is same as 4 over 10, which is same as 2 over 5. So 2 fifth of the coins were 20 cent coins and one eighth of the remaining coins. So what is the reminder here? Reminder is three fifth. So if we have to find out one eighth of three fifth, the answer is one eighth times three fifth, which is three over 40, which means we have to take the total number of coins as 40 units. Then it is easy for us to indicate in terms of units. So let's start with that have a total number of coins as 40 units and then first 40% of the coins were 20 cent coins that means 40% is 40 over 100 times 40 units is 16 units so 20 cent coins are 16 units next is the remainder 40 units minus the 16 units is 24 units out of this 24 units one eighth of the remainder, so one eighth of 24 units is three units. That's the one dollar coins, number of one dollar coins. So the remaining is 40 units minus 19 units, which is 21 units, is the 50 cent coins. So the first question is what is the ratio of the number of 20 cent coins to the number of 50 cent coins to the number of one dollar coins? So the ratio is 16 is to 21 is to 3. This is already in the simplest form. So that's the answer for first part of the question. This is a two mark question. Now coming to part B, how many coins did Tina have altogether? Now let's look at the value of the coins. We have 16 units of 20 cent coins, which means 16 units times 20 cents is equal to 320 unit, units in terms of cents. So our value that we are going to find out is going to be in terms of cents, not dollars. Either ways we can do, when we keep it in terms of cents, we should keep everything in terms of cents. Next, we look at the 50 cent coins. 21 units of 50 cent coins is 21 times 50 cents, which is 1050 units of cents. So that's the total value of 50 cent coins. And then we have three units of one dollar coins. Since we are expressing everything, everything in terms of cents, we keep them as hundred cents. So that's a total of three hundred unit cents. So that makes the total value in terms of unit as one thousand six hundred and seventy units. But the total value is already given as three hundred dollars and sixty cents. So we convert that in that in terms of cents which is 30,060 cents. So 1,670U is equal to 30,060 cents. So one unit is equal to 18 coins. So the so unit is nothing but the number of coins that we have assumed earlier. The second part of the question is the total number of coins. We assumed the total number of coins to be equal to 40 units initially. And we found out that one unit is equal to 18 coins. So that makes the total number of coins as 40 times 18, which is equal to 720 coins. So that's the answer for part B of the question. And this is three marks. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums. If you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.